Hey guys, welcome back, and today we have another review of the uh, new Mega Bloks Halo Brute Chieftain Charge, which is a newer version of the uh, the uh, Brute Chopper with the brand new Brute Chieftain. But before we get to that, when I bought this, I also bought three more mystery packs just to see my luck. So I think we should open these. All right, first one. Oh, whoops, pardon me. Get this thing as always. Look better many times. And it is no way. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Can my luck have turned? If I can open this. And it has. I got the uh, pink air assault Spartan. It's awesome. Alright. Well, this is promising. This is very promising for a first package. Let's check out the second one. Alright, we've got the second one. We're going to open it up. I'm actually amazed by my surprisingly good luck on the first one. Usually, usually I do pretty bad. But let's see what this one is. This one is a Spartan, if I'm not mistaken. That is just a common. Let's check, and he is. He's a common. But hey, I got the rare. I can't complain. Life is good. Alright, and then the last one that I bought. Let's open this up. And dump it out. And it's just another Spartan, so it's a pretty good pretty good loadout. I got two green Spartans. And then the pink aerosol Spartan. I can't complain. That was a that was a good one for me. But on to the review. This is the brand new Brute Chieftain Charge. Uh very easy. It cost me about twelve bucks at Walmart. Very easy to assemble. It's not an actual like big manual, it's just an unfolding one. Then of course you get your little inserts. But let's start off with the box. Brand new uh, 2012 design with the Halo 4 Master Chief on it. Looks very awesome with the cool Brute Chieftain going into the kill. All the other sets have all of these. I'll review them for you guys if you want to check it out. Brand new Brute Chieftain and the newly designed Chopper with real working wheels, even though the other one had real working wheels too. And there's a picture of the actual Brute Chieftain. Right here it says Brute Chieftain Charge. Wielding a mighty gravity hammer, the Brute Chieftain fearlessly leads the Covenant into battle on a modified Brute Chopper with twin pairs of 35mm auto cannons, huge front driving wheel, a huge front driving wheel, and ramming targe, targe, whatever that word is. The Chopper is a dangerous assault vehicle. If you played Halo 3, you know that it is, yeah, only, it's, it's, I don't get why they don't have it in Reach. No, they do have it in Reach, what am I saying? I'm losing my, I'm losing my mind today, but they are uh, great vehicles. Very great vehicles. They, uh, they're they kind of like an alien motorcycle, really. It has a gun that you can use. And uh, these two cannons right here, these cannons, they uh, do some pretty good damage. And they can go long range. Then it has little boosters, and you can ram through anything and just go nuts. They're, they're fun vehicles to play with. But, on to the minifigure. The brand new Brute Chieftain. Very, very cool figure. The detailing is amazing. Before I go into him, I'll just show you the weapons he comes with. He just comes with your standard black brute spiker. And a new gravity hammer. He grips it right here. And it has really nice detailing. Not, it's just black, so there's no colors, but uh, the mold itself is really cool. But onto the brute chieftain. Megabox actually did a really great job of capturing. It looks ex like a Megabox version, exactly like the, what the brute chieftain would have looked like. Uh, the detailing is is also fantastic. Got some red colors in there. Helmet is what amazes me the most. Looks really great. It's a little rubbery right here, so you can move that. His head swivels very well. Nothing catches or gets in the way. He they even have he even has his little uh forearm guard here. I don't think it yeah it doesn't come off, but it's really cool. Kind of similar to the um, hunter's shield, just a lot smaller of course. Then he has his detailing down here. Also really cool with the red. And the back is just plain and simple. They could have probably added some detail there. But he is really, really cool. One of my favorite figures now. I've always liked the Brute Chieftains. They were really intimidating in Halo 3. They would turn on their invincibility and just, invincibility and just charge at you with their gravity hammer. And half the time I would run until it wears out and then kill them. But this new chopper is actually really good. As you can see, there's no invisible piece that needs to be there to hold it up. Unlike... The old chopper, this one stands up by itself. 
this one kind of falls down a little. I mean, it's hard to tell because it's on this thing. But the old chopper required this to stand upright. Well, this one does not. And uh, on the back, the piece that makes it hover in the back, this is a printed piece. There is no sticker involved. Purely printed. Really cool looking detailing. It's really the same build as the old chopper, except the old chopper was uh, blue. I mean purple, sorry. And this one's obviously red uh, for the Brute Chieftain. And the only difference, noticeable difference, is that uh, there's no stickers on this set. It's all printed, so this is printed, this is printed, this is printed, that's printed, and like I said, the bottom is printed. But uh, these are different. Uh, there's kind of coverings for these, unlike the old one right here, where it just looked like that, plain and simple. And uh, the seat is also a little bit shorter than in the old one. That's not much of a difference at all. Build is generally the same, though. It, it'll it take you, like, five minutes. You can, this is a really quick, easy build. If you want, like, a really quick, easy build, cool figure, cool vehicle, this is, this, this is the one to get. The front is also a little different. For ramming, it has the spikes on it. Compared to the old one, where it was just flat and boring. This one has the awesome spikes to impale whoever it runs over. Very intimidating. If I had one of these, I'd have a lot of fun. I wouldn't go impaling people, but it'd be fun to ride. Now, in the actual one, there's something right here for boosters, but they don't have those on any of them. Maybe it's these things, I'm not sure, but uh, there are little boosters that come out and this thing can go flying. But, the wheels all spin. All of them do. This one doesn't seem to be agreeing with me right now. But they, they all spin. But that is pretty much the Brute Chieftain Charge in a nutshell. You can buy it for $12 at Target, Walmart, wherever you shop. And it is a great buy, so if you have a few bucks lying around and you want to pick up a cool set, I would definitely recommend this one. You get an awesome minifigure, and a cool newly designed chopper. And, of course, Gravity Hammer, very awesome weapon. You just it, it, It's pretty much a giant alien hammer, but when you hit the ground, it kind of sends out this sh shock wave. And it is devastating. It's it's a really cool weapon. It's in Halo 3 and Halo Reach, so if you, you, you can use it if you played Halo. Very, very cool weapon. But anyways, guys, that pretty much sums up this review. Pretty short review since it's a smaller set. But I'll have more reviews coming up soon. But thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.